Hey guys, I hope you're ready for an extreme, complete disaster clean, declutter, and organize with me. I'm going to be cleaning, as you can see, my complete disaster of a kitchen and a living room, and then wait till you see my girls' bedroom closets and their dresser drawers. They were also complete disasters. That's the running theme in today's video. And I was planning on pulling everything out, decluttering, organizing, and really making some transformations in their closets and drawers. So I will show you how I do all of that, all of the organizational tools and systems that I use. And you're also going to see me clean up my disaster basement. So a lot of motivation coming your way in this video. If you have never been to my channel before, I'm Jamie. You probably already knew that, but I am a mom to three daughters. I have a five-year-old daughter and then twin 18-month-old girls. So I'm a girl mom. I am married to my husband, Mike, who I met at fifth grade camp, and we have been together ever since. And hopefully when you come to my channel, you find this content motivating and inspiring. I live in Northern Ohio and the weather is rapidly changing this time of the year. So one of my biggest goals for today was to not only clean up my kitchen, living room and basement, but also tackle my kids' closets. If you're a mom, you know how overwhelming this task can be, especially if you have multiple kids. It just always takes so long. And both of my girls' closets were a mess and I wanted to get rid of clothes that didn't fit them anymore. And I wanted to hang up old or cold weather clothing and then properly organize their drawers so we could easily find clothes on early school mornings and when we need specific colors for different outfits. So a lot of transformation in today's video. If you're curious what I'm using to wipe down the countertops, it's the Jaws Granite Cleaner. There's a link for it in the description if you want to check it out. It has a light cucumber scent, which is just nice to have in the air of the kitchen and it's one of my go-to and favorite cleaners for my countertops but i was planning on picking things up from the floors the countertops wiping things down and then i wanted to scrub the sink because i felt like it was pretty gross and then vacuum before moving upstairs to the closets <laughs> I was just using Dawn dish soap to quickly scrub out my sink. That's usually what I reach for and grab when I'm trying to get the sink scrubbed out super quickly so I can quickly move on to something else.
I cannot wait for you to see the closet transformations upstairs as well as how I was able to organize their dresser drawers. Honestly, at the end of today's video, when I was done, I felt so accomplished. I felt so good and I am in love with their closets and their dresser drawers now. I would love it if you guys would come over and find me on Instagram. It's Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey. It's also linked down below, but come over, say hi to me. I share more of my life, more of my girls, more, I guess, of my personality, not just cleaning and organizing over there, but it's always fun for me to be able to connect with you and share more about my life over on Instagram. So make sure you come over, find me on Instagram and say hi. I love chatting with you. Um, I always answer my messages. So come over and say hi. Now this is the main focus of today's video. So not that bad, right? Not that bad. This obviously needs to be cleaned up. But here is what we're working with. This closet. <laughs> it's so bad. All of these clothes. And we're not done here. Do this. Take care of that. I need to do it in her closet too. I honestly have been dreading this task for a really long time. The weather in northern ohio has been fairly mild so it hasn't been too cold so i haven't been forced to do it yet but it's only time before it gets super cold and the girls have been growing out of their their clothes so i just had to get this done um, and i had a lot of you guys tell me i was talking about when i was doing this on instagram that you're like i live in the south and we don't switch out clothing i don't really take out their clothes like their summer clothes i leave them in i just kind of take the winter clothes and put it in the main focus point of the closet but when i say i go through these clothes it's mainly getting rid of the clothes that don't fit them anymore so i was sitting down with the twins because i mean they rapidly grow out of clothes you know avery only grows out of clothes really once a year um, but with the twins they're moving into they're in 18 months moving into 2T. So I was sitting down and I had three different piles. So I had one pile clothes that they've totally grown out of, another pile clothes that that needs to be hung up or folded that they need to wear now, and then another set um, that would be 3T clothes, which is too big for them. But I kept all of Avery's clothing from when she was their age. So I kind of had 2T and 3T in a bin together. So I was separating the 2T, hanging those up, and then the 3T I was saving for next year. Um, but it's just nice to have all of Avery's old clothing because I don't really have to buy a ton for them. I mean, of course I still go out and buy some matching outfits and stuff like that, but such a lifesaver to have. And I'm glad I saved all of Avery's clothing.
we are pretty lucky in this house because our closet sizes are pretty big um, as you can see in the twins and in Avery's room so I hang up all of their shirts and then I put the pants and pajamas in their dresser it would be kind of annoying it is kind of annoying I guess to hang up all of their shirts because it takes more time to put them on a hanger when you get it out of the laundry but our closets are just so big I don't want to waste that space So back in the spring, I had to organize these drawers with these drawer organizers I got off of Amazon. And I will have them linked down below. I think they're great. Um, and they definitely worked for pants for the twins. But I was just finding that they didn't really work for the pajamas. I've talked about this a lot on my channel, but I think there are some times when you have to take shortcuts. I mean... If you're a mom, then you definitely have to take shortcuts. If you're not a mom, I mean, who wants to have everything be absolutely perfect? Like, who just has this extra time to make sure everything in your whole house is absolutely perfect? I sure don't, and I don't have the time, so I take cleaning shortcuts when it comes to, you know, making my bed. My bed isn't always perfectly made. There will be wrinkles in the sheets, but I don't have time to perfectly smooth out every wrinkle in my bed every single day. And another shortcut is not folding my kids' pajamas. I mean, I just, who cares about pajamas? They can be wrinkly. So I kind of just throw those in the drawers and their drawers were becoming a mess. So I had to organize them even though I don't fold them. So I think I found the key expandable drawer organizers and it was game changing and worked perfectly. And I can't wait for you to see what I did in Avery's room. I think her drawers were what I was most happy with when I was all done organizing after this day. And then don't forget, I'm still going to be cleaning our disaster basement later in this video. So a lot more cleaning, organizing coming here on this video. And I'm telling you, the basement was pretty satisfying. A lot of stuff to clean up and the most satisfying vacuum lines ever. So I love these drawer organizers so much. I use them in my parents' kitchen. I plan to use them in our kitchen when I organize that. Um, I have some in our bedroom and they just make a big difference. I had the smaller organizers like in here, but with pajamas, I don't really fold them um, because they don't need to be folded. They can be wrinkly if they need to be. I'm just trying to save time. <laughs> That's one of those shortcuts that I take. I always talk about these are great and definitely worth the investment and we'll keep things I know organized whether we are lazy or not. And you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me All right, so now the closet and the drawers were organized so it was time to clean up and then deep clean. I figured while I was in here um, cleaning out their closets and their drawers. I might as well do some deep cleaning in here. Um, so I planned on cleaning the blinds and the windows and the baseboards and moving furniture and really vacuuming.
Okay, so this is, this was actually my toy box from when I was little, and so I keep all of their stuffed animals in there. Um, that's the two toddler bin. I'm just gonna keep in here because then when they grow out of that size, I can just chuck all that stuff in there. And then these are their baby bins. Um, things, momentums, mo mementos that I keep for them. And I want to keep it in here because I'm not ready to put their baby bins away yet. And as I find random things, little things, clothes that are special, little mementos from holidays, I want to put them in here. But everything is way more cleared, way more open. Make sure to stick around. But when it comes to me, you don't want to know. Yeah, every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you help me the way I help you? You don't have to save me. Just be my parachute. When I'm feeling down, you're just not there. Making sure I'm okay. Why don't you help me the way I help you? So the plan to deep clean was wiping down the dresser. I wanted to clean the blinds, the windows, baseboards, wipe down their cribs because the cribs can get kind of gross and then do some serious vacuuming under the furniture. I was just using some Dollar Tree window cleaner to clean the windows and I used a microfiber cloth to dry dust the blinds. And then I was going to wipe down their crib and mattress with some Clorox wipes. And I know I've talked about this before, but honestly, when you think of how grubby, is that an appropriate word? <laughs> that toddler hands can be and how they have runny noses a lot and they put their hands in their mouths and where out wherever else honestly i should be cleaning their crib more frequently than i do so i wanted to go in and give it a really good cleaning Bet that you felt the same. Okay, so I'll admit to you that I can't remember the last time I vacuumed under their cribs completely. Sometimes I will take the vacuum and get under there in the front part, but actually removing the crib like this and then vacuuming has been a really, really long time and it clearly showed when I was done vacuuming because there was a ton in that canister. So pretty, pretty satisfying to say the least. And that's a theme you're gonna see a lot in today's video. I really filled up this vacuum canister a ton, which tells me it was a pretty satisfying day of cleaning. All of this was from 
the twins bedroom. It was completely empty <laughs> before I vacuumed in there. That's crazy. Okay, so Avery's closet is gonna be a little bit more difficult because I don't exactly know what's going to fit her or what's not. So I'm gonna eyeball it. And whatever I know will fit her, I'll go ahead and hang up and then I'll have a pile for things where I wanna have her try on. She's just in, just in this weird in-between size. So kind of in between 5T. So she's five and a half, five and a half. And she's in between the 5T and then the extra small and little girls, which is crazy that she is we're shopping out of the toddler section for her. So she gets some extra small stuff from the little girl section. She fits into some 5T. So it's kind of a weird in between. I'm gonna go through all of this and kind of make a couple different piles. In the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. All the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night So then it was Avery's closet And it's just so crazy to me because You know, as I put away these clothes for the twins Because I'll put them in bins um, And then we'll put them in storage for the twins But it's just crazy to me to think that in four years, the twins are gonna be in these clothes. The next time I see these clothes will be when the twins are four, five. I just can't even comprehend them at that age. Like, it just blows my mind. Like, what will they be like, you know? Like, what will the personalities be like? Because we're just getting to that stage where we're starting to see who they are as people and their personalities. So it's always fun for me when I pull out, you know, the the 18 month clothing or when I was pulling out the baby clothing, I would remember Avery being in that shirt or that outfit and it always brought back so many memories. But now it looks like acting like we were Avery's drawers had truly gotten out of hand and I will say that I don't know if the drawer organizers that I had from Amazon worked as well with her clothes as they did the twins clothing. I think just because they're bigger and she also has more clothing with the twins I try to keep it pretty minimal um, but with Avery you know sometimes I would kind of overbuy for her because I know we're going to have two other girls that's going to fit into her clothing. So um, I pretty much was going to scratch using those and I had planned on using the expandable drawer organizers. I think these drawer organizers would work well for t-shirts or shirts from Amazon, but we hang up all of our shirts. So we pretty much just put pants and shorts in the drawers. I feel like this ended up being way more practical than those so I put some of her sweatpants that she only uses for like soccer and softball um like she doesn't really wear on a regular basis some of those and some extra jeans that aren't elastic that I know she doesn't wear a ton um and then this drawer is like her main drawer so for school we have her jeggings like her leggings that are jeans that pretty much go with everything we almost wear those every day these are they look like regular jeans, but they have the elastic on them, really soft denim. So these would be like the two that she wears the most. Black leggings, which again, wears the most. And then some pink, I have to get some more pink leggings. But I foresee this to be like the main drawer for school stuff, for school pants. Um, I feel like sometimes we try to pick out stuff at the end of the night as we're going to bed, we're in a rush or in the morning, and we just need to open a drawer see what's in here and grab something quick and easy to go with the shirt she picks out. So I feel like these drawer organize organizers are way more practical and also like when I pull these out of the, um, the dryer, a lot easier just to kind of throw them in here. Look to the left, look to 
So I ha was not prepared and I didn't have enough of these. I'm gonna go ahead and order some from Amazon for her pajamas and she needs some winter pajamas for sure. So this was part of the motivation for doing this. So she really only has these long sleeve pajamas. That's a nightgown, short sleeve. And these are pants, but short sleeve um, pajamas. So I'm gonna kind of group them. These are onesies. She wanted onesies like her sisters. So those will be winter onesies. And then I'll have some long sleeve two pieces, short sleeve with pants, and then nightgowns over here. So I will get a set of drawer dividers and then I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys at this point. I had planned on deep cleaning Avery's bedroom, just like I did with the twins, but I still wanted to clean up the basement and I was starting to lose steam at this point. So I decided just to kind of do a shortened version of deep cleaning in there. And ultimately things that I don't do every time I'm cleaning in here. So I was going to wipe down her bed and then clean her window and blinds and then vacuum. But some things you guys don't see in these videos, um, you know, you see me cleaning and it just looks like, oh, I'm cleaning all day long, uninterrupted. I never take breaks and I'm just getting things done. Well, <laughs> there's so much behind the scenes that you don't see. Obviously, I have a whole family. Now, my husband was with the girls. So, I mean, he was with them. But of course, I was taking breaks, going to say hi to them, eating lunch with them, hanging out. So these cleaning sessions, a lot, a lot of times, if I get started in the morning, they do take me all day because I'm taking a ton of breaks or trying to get done a lot of work when they're napping or things like that. So at this point, it was getting a little bit later in the day and I still needed to clean up the basement. And of course, I wanted to relax at night with my family. So I was just trying to get done as quickly as possible and it's like the baseboards can wait. I had to go move around the camera for you guys. So I sacrificed the vacuum lines for you guys. <laughs> um, and here is the closet. So not as a dramatic transformation as the twins, but I guess she has more stuff. How creepy is Barbie? I'm sorry, she scares me because I'll just be like coming in Avery's closet going to hang up clothes and boom, especially when her arms are out. It's creepy in the dark. <sighs> Barbie. Anyways, <laughs> looks pretty good. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. All right, last part of my whole day, clean, declutter, and organize. Avery was at school. She was actually due to be home any minute, and I wanted to get all of the basement cleaned up myself before she got home. I'd actually had been, it had been a while since the basement had been properly cleaned. So when I say properly cleaned, I mean, yes, she cleans up the basement, you know, cleans up her toys, but it had been a while since I 
I had went down there and cleaned it up and I wanted to make sure all of the toys got put away in the proper areas and I also wanted to vacuum which you will see when I'm done here vacuuming how full the canister it was. It was clear that I had been a long time since I had vacuumed down here and if you noticed something else as I was cleaning that we have two spin bikes. So I have one spin bike. It's an Echelon. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I got it a couple months ago. Well, actually I ordered it in the spring and then the bike came and it didn't work. So we had to wait a little bit longer and then they sent me a new one, which was amazing. And I'm loving it. You know, I love working out at home. It's my thing. So I like to switch it up. Um, but they sent us a new bike since the first one didn't work, but they don't have us send the old one back it probably cost too much for shipping so we kind of have two bikes but the first one doesn't work we do have a friend who's gonna try taking it and see if it works um i mean he's happy to take it off of our hands and we're like sure you can have it um i don't know if he'll be able to get it work to work but either way that's why we have two bikes in our basement Well, if that's not motivation to put this on my list, I don't know what is. Okay, really quickly, I wanted to show you. So these are all of the clothes that I removed from East Avery's closet, which is so much that I will be packing up for the twins. So I guess it's nice to know that they should be pretty well set. Um, I think some of that box is 4T, and then these bags, there's a little bit of 5T in there, and then these bags are 5T. So the twins should be set definitely for at least 5T, but it just feels so satisfying to see all of that taken out of the closet. <sighs> You guys, I'm whipped, and I'm gonna end it right here, but I got something done that has been on my list for probably the past month as it's starting to get a little bit colder in here. I knew I needed to do this, so I'm done. I did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it motivated you, or maybe you're relaxing and you're just like, way to go, Jamie, but I had a good day of relaxing. Whatever it is, thanks for sticking around, and I'm gonna go relax. I will see you guys next time. Bye.